So this is my lead in to the two paintings of Bella and how that came about. On the day that a friend of mine, good friend, posted that her longtime pet had passed away, that very day I started the uh, sketch of Baby Bella, which you see in, on the bottom. And I finished that after probably, well, about 16 hours, and I'll show you the uh, bits and pieces of that video. And after I was finished, I was not sure, you know, I've never met Bella, and so you never know if you really captured the spirit of the pet and exactly the way they looked. And so since I wasn't sure, I decided to do the portrait of older Bella. And so both of those uh, are going to be presented as a gift and the real measurement uh, of whether I got it right or not will be the reaction. And that is very nerve wracking. <laughs> I just can't thank my uh, dear friend Roger enough for these beautiful paintings of our dog, Bella. She was born in England on my husband's birthday, January 8th. She was born in 2014. I first met her over in England and the, one of the first times I met her, we took her for a walk in uh, the woods and she found a huge mud puddle and she was just splashing and playing in it uh, endlessly. She was a very intuitive dog. She loved people. She was very happy and just um, beautiful inside and out. And uh, one of the happiest days of my life was when I drove to Chicago to pick up her and my husband. They had flown over and we didn't want her to take another flight since she had been on the flight, the long flight over from England. So I drove to Chicago to pick her and Gavin up and I'll never forget uh, when we finally got her out of customs and uh, just how happy we all were to be together. I think working with pastels has really helped improve my drawing skills. And what I most enjoy is doing pet portraits. It seems to be a little more forgiving. With human portraits, you have to be so precise on every single detail. But with a dog, the fur kind of helps uh, with those measurements a little bit. And uh, I just seem to do better with pet portraits, and I especially see my improvement as I've been using pastels because it's more detailed and more uh, like drawing, and so you have to pay a little more attention to every stroke. I uh, have done commissions of pet portraits, but it puts so much more pressure on me because I want it to be perfect and otherwise in my art, I just want it to be enjoyable. Uh, but with a commission or when you're doing something for someone else, it's like you're creating your masterwork and it has to be perfect and it puts more pressure on. But I turn out good work uh, that way. So uh, I... In my art journey, this is just one more example of the progress that I've made. Uh, I believe that I have more of a three-dimensional look with my paintings and that pastel has really helped me, uh, not only with uh, that medium alone, but also even as I look at oil. I uh, used to block in large areas with oil, and now I consider color changes and each brush stroke differently after using pastels. There's still something special about pastel, though, of getting the colors uh, exactly right. You know, you're not having to mix a whole lot of colors together like in oil, and sometimes you can end up dulling um, a color and making the saturation not look so great. And uh, so there's some things uh, that I'll learn from pastel that I hope will translate over to oil to make my oils more vibrant. And uh, I appreciate you watching my art journey and see the gallery of work that I've done, including pet portraits, at my website, rogersnell.com. She was so special and so good with people. I quickly decided to get her uh, trained to be in the canine counseling program, Love on a Leash here in Lexington, 
we were still in training when uh, COVID hit. And so we had only done a couple of visits, but I used to take her on a regular basis to go see my grandmother in the nursing home. And she loved that. She uh, really just lived to make people happy. And that's what she did her whole life. And she was a huge blessing to us. One of these paintings is of Bella when she was a puppy, and uh, I didn't have the fortune of knowing her then, but um, for the seven years that I did know her, she was my best friend, and I loved her so much, and I will miss her dearly. I do miss her dearly every day, um, but these beautiful paintings are such a nice reminder of her and her spirit. I appreciate the nice comments from Melanie and Whew, what a relief uh, when uh, I delivered the two paintings as a surprise uh, to her uh, and to her husband, Gavin. Uh, he wasn't there, so I didn't see his reaction, but I told Linda, my wife, that the best uh, endorsement of the paintings would be if uh, Melanie had tears, and uh, th that worked. Now, normally I don't try to make people cry, but... Uh, that's the best testimony of all that uh, you got it. So uh, that nerve wracking uh, experience each time you show a painting of something so special uh, as a pet and what they mean to every family and especially after they've crossed the Rainbow Bridge. I wanna finish up by showing you how the painting of the older Bella turned out kind of show you step by step uh, to the end. With that, I'll probably add some music. And I would really like to ask that you click like uh, or subscribe if you haven't already, or even put in a comment because these videos are not reaching even my friends uh, without some sort of interaction. And I think it's the new way that YouTube is tightening down on how they share videos. So please click like or become a subscriber, uh, no charge, uh, or add a comment. Uh, it will help spread this. If, uh, if it continues the way it is, I probably won't do any more videos because uh, it's just not reaching enough people. And I did it to track my progress and, and have a record of uh, how I'm doing as I try and try to get better at this and I wanna encourage others uh, to give it a try. I certainly was not an artist uh, and am just trying and learning and observing others and would like to encourage others. But if the video doesn't reach uh, beyond um, a very tight circle, then it's not achieving what I had hoped. So really, encourage you to do that it would help me a lot and i've got eight more videos ready to come and i'd like you to be able to see those and if you click like or subscribe or even make a comment it's more likely that it will uh, that youtube will prompt you that there's a new video so thanks for watching and uh, go to my website to see all my other videos and uh, finished paintings and, and work that's for sale at uh, rogersnell.com. Thank you.